What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. We're one subscriber away from 10, uh, 11 4. One away from 11 4. So thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart chakra. I just want to throw that out there. Um, this is a free general collective reading for March of 2022 for the sign of Pisces. I was going to do other signs, but I kept hearing Pisces, I kept hearing Pisces, I kept hearing Pisces. So that's the spiritual realm guiding me to do Pisces. So I'm going to do Pisces, apparently. So this is for the sign of Pisces. Um, this could resonate if you have Pisces in any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Moon, Haver, Jupiter charts. Spirit messages you have reflected. First sign of Pisces. So yeah, so we're doing Pisces, just saying. Okay, Ace of Wands reverse, Eight of Wands upright, the devil upright. This can resonate if you have Pisces in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Ben, Hammer, Jupiter charts. But don't force it if it don't fit. Only take the messages to resonate. Okay. For a particular Pisces masculine, there is a very toxic, low vibrational, some a baby mama, some someone you're dating casually that has held off on sex from you for strategic manipulative purposes. However, soon they're about to rush in to try to seduce you. This would not be a smart idea. Oh my. God, woo! Well, we're starting off with bang. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my good lord. Okay, so this is for a Pisces masculine. Um, you got Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or moon, and or Jupiter charts. Don't force the messages. They don't fit, but they, they, if they fit, take them. But it's for a Pisces masculine. I heard it. Um, some it is a baby mama. Um, I'm assuming she could currently be pregnant with a gestating her child, or she could already have a child by you. Because what I'm presuming are her baby mama. I feel it can go both ways. And for some, it's someone you're casually dating. So I feel it could be open relationship energy. Like, you know, you're dating four people. She's dating five people, what have you. Um, you're not really, you know, committed to each other, basically, um, for that one. Um, but I heard she's strategically holding off sex from you for strategic reasons. So... She's holding the kitty cat hostage, basically, for a reason. Um, but I think it's to get you, and I didn't hear this. This is just my deductive logic of reasoning on this, okay? I think she's holding the kitty cat back from you, so you will come chase the kitty cat. Probably so she can um, ask you for a nice, shiny, fancy things um, in exchange for some kitty cat. Um, I mean... That's just my deductive logic of reasoning on this. I didn't hear this from the spiritual realm, that, that particular take up on it. I'm just saying. But there are strategic reasons she's holding it back. Um, I think she wants you to chase her. She wants you to chase her. Whether she wants nice, shiny, expensive things from you, or she just wants you to chase her <laughs> for codependency. And, uh, and maybe she's emotionally unstable. I mean, I'm not sure. I didn't hear that part either. But... There's a reason she wants you to chase her. And people that want that want people to chase them, they're they are unstable emotionally. And sometimes mentally and sometimes both. And I'm just serious about that. I'm serious. If you cannot properly communicate in a relationship, I don't care if it's an open relationship or a committed, stable relationship, then what's the point, in my opinion? But of course everybody lives their life differently differently, and I do not judge. But however this resonates, it's a feminine energy uh, for you, Pisces, masculine. So the Ace of Wands reverse is her holding back the kitty cat energy. The upright, it's action. No action. And in this case, it's sexual action. No sexual action. No wine. Phallus has been able to 
um, has been able to penetrate the kitty cat because she's been holding it back. Eight of Wands, but she's coming toward you soon. So I think communication, um, I think communication, or she might dress real sexy um, or invite you out somewhere to kind of entice it. And maybe she wears something really nice or something really sexy, or she wears the, your favorite dress or your favorite fishnets or what have you. Somehow the action is going to come into play, whether it's just communication and y'all are not communicating or you've been communicating and she wants to go out with you somewhere if she wears your favorite fishnets or something. But eight, eight of wands, action, and that's quick, speedy action. So she's been holding, holding, holding the kitty cat back, but now it's going to speed it up real quick through a series of chain events. Mm. That, and that's coupled, the action is coupled with devil energy. So it's something I feel she's about to do that's about to speed this up. I heard spiritual download that it would not be smart to engage with this. Now, this is upcoming energy for you, Pisces, masculine, if this resonates for you. This is upcoming energy, so you can take it or how it resonates or let it fly. But this is her. This is her energy over here. She's been holding the kitty cat back. She's about to speed things up with some devil energy. Sexy fish nets or... Uh, erotic text messages or making your favorite filet mignon in nothing but a t-shirt. I mean, I don't know. But Eight of Wands with the devil energy. It's about to speed up. And it's her speeding this up. I heard it wouldn't it not be smart to engage. For some, it's your baby mama. So, like I said, it could be a current pregnant baby mama or somebody that already has one or two plus children by you. And for some, it is somebody you're in some kind of open relationship as type energy with. Um, for some, this baby mama or open relationship person could be a Capricorn or have caps in their chart, or you could have caps in your chart, but I feel it's probably, it's probably her. Um, she could have caps in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thumb, and or Jupiter charts, possibly, but Capricorn energy is devil energy. You take it how it resonates. This is uh, these messages are specifically for Pisces masculine. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. Spirit messages you have reflected. Ten of Swords upright, four of Swords reversed. A particular Pisces, masculine and feminine, are about to get betrayed in a huge, huge way by someone they would have never thought. You think this person is a very loyal friend and you're about to learn the hard way. Oh my Lord. Wow, Pisces. This is holy crap, this energy. Oh my Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Whew. Um, but wouldn't you rather know? Wouldn't you rather know? I mean, if this resonates for you, I would rather know than get clicking on tarot card reading channel and hearing all love light and rosy dozies and daisies. I'd rather the truth. But, um, but you know, everybody's different. I'd rather know. But you plug it in how it resonates. I heard masculine and feminine energy. So if this resonates with you, you can be a masculine or a feminine. Of course, you only take the messages that resonate. But I heard you're basically about to get betrayed by someone you never thought would betray you. It's some kind of, you thought they were a loyal friend energy. So you thought it was like a ride, ride or die type person. Now this person can be masculine or feminine. You have to plug, everybody's on different time of life paths. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug these in, how they resonate. But whoever this person is to you, I feel it's like a ride or die type. You thought they were a ride or die type energy towards you. But you're about to learn the very hard way that they're not. I mean, they're about to, uh, I feel this hasn't happened yet. It's about to. They're about to tick, stick ten of swords right in freaking back, man. That's the biggest betrayal in the trove. Coupled with the four swords reversed. A four swords upright is relaxation. They're not going to stop. Um, they're about to go, go hard, go quick. Um, I, whatever betrayal it is. Um, let me see if I hear anything else. Oh, my goodness. 
For some, it is this friend is about to sleep with your dating partner. For some, this friend is about to sleep with your spouse. Oh my God. Oh my God. And for some, this friend is about to tell the truth on a situation of the past. There has been cover up energy. Oh, whoo, wee, this is so hot. Whew. I need the AC on full blast up in here. Holy crap. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so for some of you guys, and you can be masculine or feminine, and the betrayal energy, um, right, you thought was a ride or die type person, and you're about to learn the hard way they're not, could be masculine or feminine. But however that resonates, uh, for some of you guys, it's they're about to sleep with your dating partner. Oh, wow, that's the biggest betrayal you can do somebody. Just straight up. That's why I don't ever date anybody. That's why I don't have friends. And that's period because of the crap like this. And that's the truth. Um, wow. So for some, they're about to sleep with your dating partner. So to me, that's the hugest betrayal. But, you know, everybody's different. Everybody has different perspectives. For some, they're about to sleep with your spouse, your legally married spouse. That, oh my God. Oh. Unless you're in an open relationship, you know, with swinger and all that. But I mean, uh-uh. No, 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 no. That's why I'm divorced. Just saying. And for some, this friend, friend, it's like frenemy energy, um, is about to um, relay very important information on a serious situation of the past. I heard there was an intentional cover-up there. So I don't know if you intentionally covered up this information or several of you guys did, but somehow there was some kind of cover-up energy, or maybe it wasn't you covering it up. You Only you know your story, not anybody else, but somebody was trying to intentionally cover up some kind of serious situation of the past. But this friend is about to relay the truth. And this friend will get high honor for it. And it's going to create other series of chain of events for other people coming forward. Okay, so for situation three, there's three situations in here. One, betrayal, your friend, frenemy, is going to sleep with your dating partner. That's sucky. For situation two, your friend, me, is going to sleep with your married, legally married spouse. That's sucky. Situation three, you know, we're talking about situation three here, that um, where the friend's going to get high honor. So situation three, I heard the friend's going to get high honor, and it's going to create series of chain of events for more people to come forward about this very serious situation in the past where there was intentional cover-up energy, whether you helped cover it up or other people helped cover it up. But it sounds like a group of people helped cover up this very serious situation in the past, but it's about to come to light. One of your friends you never thought would betray you and somehow you're you're going to perceive this as a betrayal. So I think you help cover it up if this resonates for you. Um, they're going to tell the truth. They're going to tell the truth. And I heard it's going to create, uh, when they tell the truth, it's going to create other series of chain events for other people to tell the truth. So the truth is going to come out. And there's four swords reversed. No rest and relaxation in the situation. So it's going to come out quickly. It's going to come out quickly. Um, but it's showing up as a betrayal to you. So whoever that's for, I really do think you help cover it up. And I'm serious about that. Uh, but you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard the friend is going to get high honor in situation three. Um, so you plug it in however it resonates. However that resonates. Oh, my Lord. God. All right. Let's pull some tea leaves. Whew. Spirit messages you have to plug it. A particular Pisces is about to have a very significant encounter with a firefighter soon. Sphere messages you have reflected for Pisces. For some, it's a, an apartment fire. Way too many of you guys have to redo it. For some, it's an apartment fire. For some, you're going to connect with this firefighter and set this firefighter up with one of your friends. Okay, so you, whoa, whoa, Pisces, now, okay, whoa, okay, Pisces, wow, okay, Pisces, okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates, wow, I like that, I like those messages. Okay, so some kind of firefighter, 
firefighter energy. Now, to me, that could be a masculine or femme firefighter because, you know, we live in 2022. It could be a masculine or femme firefighter. They're sexy femme firefighters and sexy masculine ones, so much so they make calendar, um, calendars as sexy firefighters, men and women. I mean, I'm just being for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? So, just saying. But, um, and I mean, and nothing wrong with the sexy calendars of the sexy firefighters, men or women. Just saying. We should have a sexy nurse calendar. Um, I would never, well, I don't know. I can't say I would never not participate. Um, I don't know. Um, when I get the body back, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, I digress. But my point is, is um, you're about to encounter some kind of firefighter energy. And I guess they're, I'm assuming they're sexy. And I'm serious about that. At least one of them. It sounds like it's at least two of you Pisces. Spirit messages you have reflected. I heard one of you guys, it's some kind of apartment fire. So, you know, sexy or not firefighter, as long as they get in there and do their job. And I'm serious about that. Um, I don't know if it's your apartment that's going to be on fire or somebody you're connected to, but some kind of apartment fire energy. But somehow you're going to connect with this firefighter. So I think if you live in an apartment or somebody you're connected to lives in an, apart in an apartment, I think you're going to communicate with them which apartment it is or maybe you're calling the fire department when uh if it's your apartment or somebody else's apartment on fire um uh, possibly um for situation one now situation two i heard um spirit messages you have a sign of face situation two you're going to um connect with the firefighter and set them up with one of your friends now hopefully it's not a toxic relationship um, just saying, just saying, I don't like set up energies, friends trying to set me up. I don't like that. But you know, everybody's different. So I don't judge. But it sounds like you are going to be the one that sets the firefighter up with your friend. I'm assuming this is a sexy S type firefighter energy. I'm assuming. I don't know. All of you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have a sign of Pisces. Okay. Wow, you guys. Okay, here we go. My poor cards. Oh, we got three. Okay, I've been pulling two. I did Leo's reading first. I pulled two, but you guys got three. So we'll go three. Okay, we have March bell announcement of well family wishes come true. I think the announcement, and March is now, um, obviously. We're March 11, 2022. March is now. I think, now, you know, this is obviously before I channel in on these, but I just want to tell you my two cents real quick. I think this, the March coupled with the announcement, is the fire, um, the firefighter communicating with the firefighter with the apartment fire energy. And I'm serious about that. I do. And this could be the situation three over here. Uh, well, it, all, it could be all of them. It could be the announcement. When you find out your frenemy is sleeping with your dating person your person you're dating announcement coming when um uh you find out your married spouse your friend friend of me is cheating with your married spouse an announcement coming when um um uh, this very important situation of the past where there was intentional cover-up energy is about to be exposed by um somebody you thought was right or die and announcement energy with the apartment fire energy. And it also could be announcement to the fire fire and your friend about setting them up, like for dating. To me, it can go all those ways. But you plug it in however it resonates. But we're pulling March with the bail announcement. So I think it's going to happen in March. Now, it's March 11, 2022. We still have one, two, almost three weeks left of March as of today, March 11th. Um, because there's 30, 31 days in March. So we're one day shy of three weeks left in March. So anything can happen. So you plug it in how it resonates. All right. Let me see if I hear anything. A particular Pisces is about to go to a significant wedding soon. Okay. Okay. I heard particular Pisces is about to go to a significant wedding soon. 
So that could be the announcement. And to me, that would kind of looks like wedding bell in a sense. It kind of looks like a wedding bell. So maybe it's a, um, I heard soon. So we almost have three weeks left in March. So wedding bells in March, and it's not your wedding. It's somebody else's wedding. So you plug it in how it resonates. A particular Pisces is about to find out the sex, some of their twins, some of a baby gestating currently. Some yours, some somebody you're connected to. Okay. Heard of, okay, and that could be announcement too. So a lot of announcement, a lot of communication, a lot of um, information, basically. Communication, information flow. Yeah. So for some, it's your child currently gestating in the womb, whether you're pregnant or you have impregnated somebody. For some, it's twins, whether you're pregnant with twins or somebody um, you've impregnated somebody with twins. And for some, it's somebody you're connected to. So it's not your kid that's gestating in the womb. It's somebody you're connected to's kid gestating in the womb, either a singular baby or twins. However, that resonates an announcement of the sex energy. Wow, this isn't too bad. Well, family wishes come true. A particular Pisces is about to be forced to to hand over a very, 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 very large sum of money that they were supposed to hand over a long time ago. There has been complete chaos in their life since they have held on to this money. They're about to be forced to let it go. It's about to make create balance in this family. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so th hopefully this is just for one Pisces out in the universe. Um, hopefully, I don't, obviously don't think all of you guys are thieves. Whoever this person is, they're a thief. Um, I heard they held on to a very, 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 very large amount of money. Basically, it's not theirs. It's not theirs. So it's some kind of fraud or identity theft energy or something like that. But I heard basically they're about to, it's created such huge imbalance in their family unit um, since they have held on to this basically stolen money. Um and to me, that's universal karma energy because they weren't supposed to have it anyway. So it's created imbalance in the universe, even though they wanted the money. Um, but I heard they're about to be forced to let it go. So I don't know if they're about to get communication from the police or law enforcement or they're about to be arrested or somebody goes to the police about this person having this stolen money or however that resonates um, in the universe, excuse me, universe for this um, thief Pisces. Um, but they're about to be forced to let this money go, basically. But I heard when the money gets let go, when they finally do let it go to whoever, I guess, money it is, it's about to create harmony in their family. So, yeah, they won't have the money, um, which they want the money, obviously, but it's not their money. Um, and uh, it's going to create harmony in their family. I heard they're basically there's been unrest in their family since they've held on to this stolen money. Um, so it'll be harmony and balance in their family family finally family wishes coming true because there will be peace in the family unit now that they know there's not a thief in their midst um it sounds like this family has been getting not negative karma because of this pisces stubbornness to hold on to this damn money so you plug it in how it resonates one pisces is about to get married soon Okay, I heard one one of you guys is about to get married soon. So that's going to be family wishes coming true, true uh, too. So one of you guys is about to get married soon. And a Pisces is about to buy a new home. And a Pisces is about to buy a new home. So one of you guys is about to get married soon and one's about to buy a new home. And one's about to go on vacation soon. And one's about to go on vacation. 
So one of you guys is about to get married soon. One, you're about to buy a new home, uh, either a new, new home or new to you home. And one, um, you're about to go on vacation soon. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That's cool. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. A particular Pisces tarot card reader, mixed race tarot card reader, is about to get positive influx into her channel. She didn't think she would. She's a very tell it how it is reader, but she is about to. Oh, I like that one. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates because I'm a tell it how it is reader too. So I get it, man. I get it. Um, and that's just the truth. I mean, you can get on here and you can lazy daisy and sugarcoat crap for people all day long, but it doesn't really help them in their real lives. And I'm serious about that because uh, I watched tarot readings for years before I become a reader. I always went to the real ones. And that's the truth. Um, or the ones I felt were real ones. Because I was watching terror for a reason. Not for somebody to snow me over with manipulation and lies. And that's the truth. So whoever you are, Pisces, Fem, Tarot Card Reader, I heard you're mixed race. So I think you have two plus races um, in your bloodstream, in your bloodline. So whatever races they are, how that resonates in your life. But I heard you're telling how it is, Reader. So you, you hashtag real talk up in here. Your hashtag real talk. I like it. I like it a lot. Your hashtag real talk. Um, and I heard you're about to basically get an influx of business into your, um, I feel you do an online platform. And you're about to get an influx of business um, because you do tell it how it is. I heard you didn't think you would because you do. I feel you're probably very blunt, very to the point. Hashtag real talk. Um, but it sounds like these people are about to appreciate it. And they should appreciate it. They absolutely should. Because you can get on here and snow somebody over with nice, gentle, snowy words all day long. Or you can be real with them. And that's just the truth. I feel you're very real. Just like me. So I love it. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys. And that could be the family wishes coming true, too, for you, mixed race Pisces. Um, because it's going to, I feel it's going to bring you in more money. So that's, that's awesome. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. A particular Pisces feminine is about to pay it forward to a Leo feminine very soon. And a very, very communicative message. Okay. I heard a Pisces fem is about to pay it forward to a Leo fem soon and a very communicative message. Community. Say that five times fast. Communicative. So C-O-M-M-U-N-I-C-A-T-I-V-E, basically. Communicative. Um, so that could be the announcement to uh, message now. So it sounds like she's going to pay it forward in some shape, form, or fashion to a Leo feminine. You could, uh, if maybe you're the Leo fan, possibly, or you're a cross watcher. I'm not sure. But, um, but I heard... Um, not only is she going to pay it forward, it sounds like she's going to explain it or put some kind of very um, descriptive type message with it of what, however she's going to pay it forward. Okay, so I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.